Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd. We're talking about part two of The Search of Deep Space Nine. Uh, this is the second program of season three, and uh, we had uh, last time been introduced to The Defiant, uh, the idea that uh, Cisco and party were going to go and look for the founders, and we're afraid they found them. At the same time, uh, uh, while there is uh, a certain amount of question as to what's happened to Cisco and Bashir and what's going to happen to O'Brien and Dax and how Odo and Kira are going to be received by Odo's kind, a, a race of shapeshifters who all live in a big pool on this planet, apparently. What we see is a good bit of science fiction, I have to give you that. And uh, there is some diversion and uh, it's all very cleverly done and believable when they have the final twist at the end. However, uh, what this show is about, what this episode is about, is to give you a closer look at Odo. Why was he drawn to this place? Why has he always had this sense of justice? Uh, why was he all by himself? And how long has he been there? And these questions are answered. He uh, is uh, part of a race that call themselves the Changelings. And the Changelings are about order. They are about um, communion with each other. Uh, they have a whole different way of looking at things than humans do, that the solids do, as they call them, uh, and uh, somewhat of a different point of view than what Odo has. And there is some question as to whether Odo, after all this time of wanting to belong with people like himself, uh, may not. And, and so we have a, a, an introspective Odo. What is it? He, he gets answers to some of his questions of, are there others like him? Uh, what is his family like? Uh, why does he have this uh, sense of justice? Why has he been drawn to this place? All of these questions are answered, but not in the way that he might have expected. And uh, that creates some conflict with him in this episode. Uh, it, it, they show off the friendship that he has with Major Kira. They show off the fact that he is loyal to the humans who have befriended him over this time and has a healthy suspicion of his own kind who may have motives that are not like his own. They do uh, explain a lot of what we've wondered about Odo for a long time and uh, have taught him some things that he never suspected that he could do or be. And this is going to be uh, a major change for his character. Uh, perhaps he'll be a little less grumpy, a little less isolationist when he realizes just um, what he's missed. Avery Brooks was wonderful, the, the acting by uh, René Bergeois was, of course, stellar. And uh, even all of the side characters all had uh, a pretty meaty part. And, and I have to say that uh, everybody carried it off in a most believable and skillful manner. It's going to get good. This is the beginning now. We've set the stage for what we're going to expect uh, as the series progresses because uh, we have seen a new nemesis, one that is going to be very difficult to fight and one that is going to be uh, very difficult to put together a, an opposition to. So uh, this is uh, where we stand right now, and, and we can suspect uh, that there may be some problems with Starfleet, there may be some problems with Bajor, there may be some problems with the Romulans and the Cardassians and all of these, and uh, a lot of petty arguments are going to have to be settled before this main plot takes hold, and that's the challenge that our people on Deep Space Nine have. So uh, that's what I have on this. I would like to hear what you have to say. Please put it in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and uh, please put a like on it as well. We do these shows every week and uh, we have uh, four videos a week right now. We're doing the Bad Batch tomorrow. We have Discovery on Friday. On Tuesday, we have uh, Babylon 5. And uh, beginning on Mondays in a couple of weeks, we will have the latest series of Doctor Who. 
So I hope that you'll stay with us and uh, until next time, don't go far.